What's up, everyone? Kato on the track. Now, anyone that truly knows me knows that I'm not a negative person. I don't like to put out negative energy out there into the universe. But in this particular situation, I feel like it can be turned into a positive, teachable moment. So I'm going to talk about it. Now, you know, I got my fair share of social media followers. And of course, with that is going to come the naysayers, the haters, the shit talkers, whatever you want to call it. And I'm cool with that. I understand that. Now, in this particular situation, I got a Facebook message from a gentleman named Richard Clark. Now, Richard, if you're listening to this, I sure hope that your hating ass learned something from this because I hate dealing with people like you. And it's part of the reason why I stopped checking my messages on Facebook. Now, Richard reached out to me and he said, yo, bro, what's good? I see tons of beats on your site. I just want to know which ones have never been used yet on those sites and how much you would charge for an exclusive of one of those never bought beats. Now, right off the jump, I can tell that Richard has no fucking idea what he's talking about because usually if you put a beat online in your beat store, it's been leased or licensed at least once before. None of those beats are truly exclusives in terms of never before used. So right off the jump, I know that Richard doesn't really know how this works, but I'm not going to be rude. I'm just going to be cordial with him, be professional. And I answered him, exclusives range from $500 to $1,000. All of them have been licensed before at least once. Now, when we're talking about exclusive rights, we're not necessarily talking about never before used. We're talking about the usage terms of that track. When you purchase exclusive rights to a beat, that means you have special exclusive terms to that track, mainly the publishing rights, that no one else has. That's what we're talking about. So then Richard goes on to say, okay, well then I'd like a never before used exclusive, sir. So this is an example like if I were to walk into, let's say a high-end fashion store, Louis Vuitton. Let's say I walk into a Louis Vuitton store and I say to them, fuck all this shit that you guys got on your shelves. I want something that no one else has. I want Louis Vuitton to make me a custom bag just for me. That's basically what Richard is saying. So I say custom exclusives not in the store are $1,500 because you got to pay for that type of exclusivity. If you want Louis Vuitton to make you a custom bag, you got to pay for that shit. And I'm sure the price tag is going to be a lot higher than $1,500. So anyway, Richard at this point is pretty butthurt. You know, he takes that as a personal jab. He says, okay, I see how you run your biz, hashtag shady. And all the beats in your store don't live up to the $100 exclusives I get. I just wanted to see what you'd say. Sell out. So at this point, Richard is pissed. He's angry at me because he thinks... He's taking it personal when, from my perspective, it's all business. I didn't say anything to insult you. I didn't say your music sucks. I didn't say I'm not going to work with you because who the fuck are you? But that's how Richard took it. Anyway, I'm used to this type of thing by now, so I say good luck. And then Richard says, who keeps beats on a site for a year and has dozens of rappers buy them knowing they can only do so much with them? Wow. So once again, Richard, you have no idea how this business works. I would highly recommend to anyone that is listening right now, I highly recommend before you reach out to someone who does music full time, who understands the business, who clearly knows what they're talking about, do not reach out to them if you're not on the same level of understanding. Please, please, please learn the game understand the business before you approach someone who does it professionally and you won't have any problems shit like this won't have to happen because richard just burned a bridge with me because he number one took business personal and number two has no idea what he's talking about and number three nobody fucking cares where you got the beat from if you're able to make a hit out of it and get rich and change your life Do you think people are really going to care if Lil Cray 
from Minnesota is using the same beat as you, do you really think people are going to care? So that's pretty much what I tell them. I said, I highly recommend you learn the music business before you approach anyone else like me in the future and burn bridges because networking and who you know is such a huge part of the game. You are clearly not where you want to be in your career and there's definitely a reason for that. Good luck. So Richard, if you're listening to this right now, I wish you the best of luck. Join Music Entrepreneur Club or something. Go get a book off Amazon on the music business. Learn how the game works. Talk to people that know more than you, that that are smarter than you. And I hope you learn from this moment. Thank you.